If you're looking for the best CPU to pair with your GTX 1050 Ti graphics card, then look no further. In this video, I'll provide an in-depth analysis of the top 5 CPU that are compatible with this GPU. We will also discuss what you need to know before making a decision about which one is right for you. I'll also leave the links to discuss CPU in the description, you can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with Intel Core i3-7100. The Intel Core i3-7100 is a good value processor that is packed with a bunch of features. It is a budget CPU that will be a great pair with the 100 and 200 series motherboard. With dual core, it offers pretty decent overall performance, satisfying single core performance for the little money you are spending. It especially offers a much better performance in gaming. This entry-level processor may not be as powerful as its rivals, but it is a good choice for anyone who is on a budget. The Core i3-7100 is a Kaby Lake processor that is powerful enough to run modern games easily. The installation process and the BIOS update are easy. It comes with a stock cooler and offers stable and efficient performances. However, there are many powerful processors with loads of options. It is a perfect choice for mid-tier gaming. It runs well without any issues. The integrated HD graphics offers better performance than its counterparts of Pentium G. This i3 processor runs with the DDR4 memory channel. It is a solid processor for the 100 or 200 series motherboard. This pairing will let you have a stable system for quite a while. Intel Core i3-7100 is mostly compatible with gaming. It offers a good 1080p gaming performance on most games you can find. The Core i3-7100 comes with 2x4 cores threads, HD graphics 630, and a total of 51 watt TDP. It includes 3.90 MHz of base frequency and 8 GTS of bus speed. Also, this processor's lithography manufacturer is 14NM, and the total cache amount is 3MB. Along with 2x DDR4 memory channels, it has a max of 16x PCIe 3.0 lanes. The max memory size of DDR4 is 64GB. This processor requires possibly more power, which is why it becomes hot easily. At number 2 it's Pentium G4560. The Intel Pentium G4560 is a good mid-level gaming CPU. With lower resolution, it can render high-end games as well. Any multiplayer games like CSGO, Age of Empires, or PUBG will suit it the best. The benchmark's performance is also amazing. It has a pre-applied heatsink and stock fans that make it run cooler. The integrated HD graphics performance is super. However, to play games swiftly and with better resolution, a decent GPU will be sufficient. Pentium G4-560, a perfect choice for those who are on a tight budget. If it gets paired with GTX 1050, the overall performance has no different than any i3 processor. Though this processor is Intel Pentium, it offers reliable and pretty amazing performance and it is worth it. It supports hyper-threading, no bottleneck on your system, and good gaming performance. It does great with its integrated HD graphics 610 without any additional GPU. However, you can get away with playing many high-end games in high settings in HD by pairing it with the GTX 1050 Ti. With this cheap price, you are getting to save a few more bucks to upgrade your system with this awesome processor. However, it doesn't support the turbo boost and is unlocked which is why it offers no overclocking feature. The Intel Pentium G4-560 is a decent and good gaming PC, offering a satisfying performance. The Pentium G4560 features 2x4 cores threads, HD graphics 610, and a total of 54 watt of TDP. It also includes 3.50 GHz of base, frequency, 8 GTS of bus speed, socket LGA1151, and max 16 XPCI, express 3.0 lanes. Its lithography manufacturer is 14NM and the cache is 3MB. Furthermore, it has 2 XDDR4 memory channels with 64GB of memory size. At number 3 it's Intel Core i5-8500. For the GTX 1050 Ti or something below 1070, this processor is highly recommended for basic working, web browsing, and some gaming. But for video encoding or rendering, 
or run any simulation, then you will have to get a CPU with more threads. The FPS rate stays between 60 and 40 in most demanding games. It does a great job in overall performance. It just snaps differently than other ones. However, the quality of the built-in heatsink and stock fans have not improved than the previous ones. It will run any game you throw at it. This processor is also a good value of money and offers stable performance. Intel Core i5-8500 does work as expected. Its six cores get more powerful with a Sonic Fast SSD, it is recommended for any mid-tier build. Almost everything runs smoothly and is stable with this CPU. Even though the cooler has not been improved, it works great. You can do video encoding or render easily with this. It can take a lot, especially for gaming. Notably, the instruction it provides is nothing but a picture. However, the installation process is easy and straightforward. Its factory applied thermal paste comes in a good clean condition that's why it needs no additional thermal paste. The price to performance ratio is on point. The Intel Core i5 8500 can do almost all types of things except overclocking. It is especially great for gaming. You can use this for some video rendering or encoding. However, go with it if you only plan for gaming. Core i5 8500 runs tabs, windows, and games without any issues. The performance is more than sufficient but no room for overclocking. The stock thermal paste also does a good job for which you will save a few more bucks for not buying additional thermal paste. With a perfect cost to performance, it is also perfect for any mid-range gaming CPU. At number 4 it's Intel Core i5-6500. It may not be the latest and best, but it is pretty fast for steady gaming. The stock fan is somewhat better than expected and still, an aftermarket cooler would go well if you want. However, if you're looking for a steady performer yet don't want to spend a huge amount of money, then this is perfect for you. It is not unlocked, so overclocking will be a bother just. It still runs well despite having these few drawbacks. All around it is a great CPU for a mid-range PC build. Intel Core i5-6500 is well worth the purchase. It has better and significant performance than the Pentium G4-560. The heatsink that came along with it works well and provides adequate cooling. However, to keep your system cooler, it is better to go with an aftermarket cooler. Whether you need it for gaming or productivity, it will be worth the price. The performance is reliable and astounding. Pairing it with the right GPU will boost the performance in the gaming sector as well. The setup is easy, and it just snaps in the place. Moreover, the performance will prove that it can be more than enough for your needs. It can literally handle most of the tasks you throw at it. However, make sure to avoid Z-Series MOBO to pair as this processor is not compatible with OC, whereas the Z-Series motherboard's main by fort feature is OC. The Core i5-6500 is a pretty good performer all around. It provides the best performance in gaming as well as productivity. At number 5 it's Ryzen 5 1600. The AMD Ryzen 5 1600 is a solid piece of hardware and a cheap entry-level processor. The AM4 socket is future-proof as it has numerous upgrade paths. Even though it is an entry-level CPU, the PC system you build with it would be a phenomenal one. You can overclock it well, but it still does a super powerful performance that will exceed your expectations even without OCing it. It may not be the best but still is one of the best CPU in terms of performance if you consider the price. Ryzen 5 1600 is a mid-budget CPU for video rendering and a budget one for enthusiasts. It comes with a pre-applied thermal paste which should be replaced for better performance. The Ryzen 5 1600, a solid and best AMD CPU for GTX 1050 Ti. Overclocking is easy and boosts the performance like a skyrocket. Even without overclocking, it can run almost everything you want as well as provide powerful performances. The Ryzen Master Cool Utility is one of the best features it holds. This feature will let you find your processor's best spot for OC. This software may not work if your previous chip is also Ryzen. You will just need to uninstall and reinstall the software from the official website. This processor doesn't break a sweat even under loads of pressure and heavy multitasking. It is powerful and fast enough to pull out any tasks you need. The single-core performance is decent and works perfectly. 
It also provides a great gaming session without performance drops. This processor is an all-rounder and does really great job in every sector be it gaming or productivity. It will give good performance in video editing or rendering Photoshop, multitask, productivity, and gaming as well. And with that, we come to the end of our review. I hope this detailed review on the best CPU for GTX 1050 Ti helps you to make a better decision.